Yeah, Paul, this was a crazy uh, bunch of hours. We are just outside of the Southwest Medical Center. This is where the crash ended. They went right through this fence over here. We're just near an apartment complex, so they crashed through the fence. There was a car right here. They hit the car. Somebody was in that car. Fortunately, they are okay. And police tell me the deciding factor from being able to catch the juveniles who were in the car was a woman who saw them earlier and called police. These are some of the charges two juveniles face as they're now behind bars. A police report says at 1.30 Tuesday morning, a woman was sitting in her car near Southwest 31st in Kentucky. Three people were walking by when one circled back to her car and asked if she had a lighter. As she gave one a lighter, another one pulled out a gun and told her to get out of the car. She didn't have any money on her, so they ended up taking her cell phone and her car. But hours later, Oklahoma City Police got a call about three teens driving by and pointing a gun at a woman. She pulled over and got out of the way, called officers, gave a great description of the vehicle and where the vehicle was last seen. Officers located that vehicle. In So police say that same car that was involved in the carjacking and this crash is the same one. They are related. However, it is going to be up to the DA if he wants to charge both teenagers as adults. We are live just outside of Southwest 44th and Western, Brett Pagansky, KOCO 5 News.